Hey guys, this is Mr. Paul Zamara and today I'm gonna teach you how to spawn a house or how to make a spawnable house in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So what do I mean by spawnable house? Basically you can spawn a house by just making a pattern made of blocks or anything. So let me show it to you right now. So if we're going to use here some stone bricks, so let's just put some stone bricks here. So this is going to be my pattern. So if I'm going to put here a brick, look what will happen. Look at that. There's a house right in front of you. It's like a puzzle house. You need to solve first the puzzle or you need to give the completed puzzle first before you can have your house. And of course, this is just a small house, but you can actually make a bigger one if you want. And that's going to be awesome. You can actually spawn your mansion using this trick and your friends will be amazed because you only use uh, some bricks and then you will have your big mansion. That's so awesome. Let's say you miss something. So uh, let's say uh, you miss this one. As you can see, you cannot spawn the house and you can only spawn it if you completed the correct pattern just like that how did i do this basically we have here another pattern so this is the actual pattern that we cloned now here we have some command blocks so this is how you do it so basically you have here a repeating command block and of course it's being powered by this lever so that uh, it's going to repeat forever now we have here some redstone comparators so two redstone comparator and as you can see uh, one will lead here this is actually a nut gate if you know redstone so when it's powered by the redstone comparator the redstone torch will turn off and whatever is written here will not function as well now this one is different as you can see the comparator is directly pointing to this command block meaning if the comparators are activated then the command inside this command block will be functional now basically what are you going to do first is to get the coordinates of this pattern so uh, you just need to dig the ground and then you're going to type here uh, slash and then tp and then these three symbols right here so when you press next you will have your coordinates you will also get since this is 3d uh, you will also get the coordinates when you are standing here because you will go up and diagonal so that you will get the 3D uh, coordinates. And then if we will go here, we will see the coordinates. You can see uh, those are the coordinates, uh, 69, 68, 235, and then 66, 6, uh, 71, 232. And those are the coordinates of this pattern. Now, we also have here uh, the last coordinates. We have... Uh, 66 67 220 that is actually the coordinates where we can see uh, this one the other pattern the command test for blocks is basically testing all the blocks here it's actually comparing all the blocks uh, here to all the blocks there now when they are all the same or identical then uh, this uh, repeating command block will power the redstone comparators nearby and that will actually activate our redstone contraption so that's basically what is the command inside the repeating command block is for it's just uh, comparing this pattern to this pattern if they are the same and if they are then uh, this command block will activate the redstone comparators now again if we're going to break this one as you can see they are not the same and that's the reason why the redstone comparators are turned off now let's put it back there we go so since they are alike the two patterns are the same or identical and the redstone comparators are turned on then this command block will be activated 
now here I cloned the house so uh, basically there is actually a house here at my back so what I did is I just uh, cloned this house so same thing uh, to clone it just uh, get the coordinate here going to this place so it must be diagonal so you need to stand here so to get the coordinates and you will need those coordinates and as you can see we have here the coordinates 1967 227 84 72 and 221 so basically those are the coordinates of this building or this house now we have the third one that is the destination for your clone house so my destination is 58 68 235 so basically that is where we can find this location here as you can see I dig a hole here so that's going to be my third uh, set of coordinates so again this command block when activated will clone the house at my back to the destination which is over here and that's the reason why you can see a house if the pattern is correct now if the pattern is wrong then this redstone comparator will be turned off and also this redstone torch will be turned on so if this is turned on then what happens is that so let me just break this so that we will see look at that so uh, as you can see the redstone comparator is turned off so as you can see the redstone torch is now turned on and since it's turned on it will activate this command block and basically we have here the command field 64 68 241 and then 5873 235 here so basically what I did is I just get the coordinates of the house this house so just get the coordinates of that house and then uh, we're going to fill everything here in this area or this place with air and that's the reason why when this command block is activated you cannot see the house anymore because uh, that area was filled with air so that's how it works and yeah that's it so we're done with the tutorial that's how to make a spawnable house or a craftable house thank you for watching